Hello, quick trailer here for our upcoming webinar on Power Automate, formerly known as Flow versus Azure Logic Apps. So quick agenda what we'll cover in the session. We'll start with an overview for those who are not familiar with either Power Automate or Logic Apps. Uh, we'll get into licensing, which is a big part of the decision between one product versus the other, and then take you through some custom scenarios, including approvals with adaptive cards and some custom connectors. Um, so quick overview on Power Automate versus Logic Apps. Uh, Power Automate more for the citizen developer, the power user. Logic Apps, a little more technical. You work in the Azure portal, you can use uh, Visual Studio with it. So maybe a little more intimidating for the power users. Uh, power Automate licensing, we'll go through lots of different scenarios, what's included with the different products versus the paid plans. Logic Apps, we'll talk about the consumption model, how that works, and we'll take you through an example of what pricing could look like per execution and the dollars associated with that, which is actually fairly minimal for most uh, scenarios. And then from there, we'll go through a couple of different customer scenarios. Uh, first for Community Living Toronto, uh, some finance systems that we've worked with them on, a combination of Power Apps and Power Automate, uh, staying within the Office 365 licensing. Next, we'll go into a consulting company uh, using Azure Logic Apps and some premium connectors to both Azure Automation and Salesforce as part of our site provisioning um, and wiring that in with Salesforce. So I'll take you through some uh, different sample workflows as part of that. And then we'll wrap it up, the third one, with an engineering extranet drawing approval process. Uh, this one's a little more sophisticated, also using Logic Apps, uh, connecting into Azure Automation, but also a custom connector into our extranet user manager product, um, some integrations into SAP and using some customized adaptive cards to uh, to kind of go a little further from an approval process, make sure that we can send them from the company email address, apply branding to them and such from there. Uh, so that's the session. Hope you enjoy the uh, teaser and stay tuned for the full session.